Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm here because I wanted to uh, make a tutorial to show people how to make uh, mods for other people to use. Say if you edited a companion um, inside your game and you wanted to share it and make it into a mod and put it on the Nexus mod or whatever website you want. Uh, or even if you wanted to transfer your face of your character or uh, the modified face of one of your companions to a new save uh, this method will show you how to do that. So um, yeah, first I uh, I wanted to tell you guys that I had already made two mods. Um, this one is cute Ebony uh, Curie, and this one I made is cute Cuban uh, Piper, aka Latina Piper. Uh, I'm gonna talk more about this one in another video. Um, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna show you the method how to do this one in this video because. The method for this one is a little bit different, and that's for anybody who edited their characters through look menu, through looks menu. You know, you go to console mod and you type show looks menu. Um, you're gonna have to do it this way, and that's gonna be in another video that I'm gonna make. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So, the first thing you want to do is uh, go to the links in the description that will provide for you. You want to download uh, Fallout 4 Edit. Also, you want to download Fallout 4 Face Ripper, or I think it's just called Face Ripper. Uh, you want to download both of those utilities. Uh, once after you have both of those utilities, utilities download. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick and I'm tired, um, and you know, right now I can't speak for some reason. Um, but anyways, so after you download that, you can install it through Nexus Mod Manager. I don't know where it puts those mods at. I use I like to install utilities manually, so um, just find a photo wherever the utilities are. Uh, then after that, you want to go to and find Fallout 4 Edit, and I have that in my editor folder, uh, which is the folder that I made myself. Uh, so pull that up. Uh, and this is a suggestion to whoever made um, Fallout 4 Edit. Uh, I hope in the future that you guys make a version that has uh, select all or deselect all features because it'd be much easier that way uh, for people to deselect all of these uh, ESP files that we don't want to edit. So yeah, so you have to go through here and unclick. You may not have as many as me because I have a lot of mods. I think I have like 40 something mods installed uh, or even downloaded. So yeah, I have a lot of mods. Let me go through here. And unclick every every ESP file except for the Fallout 4 ESM file because that's the one that we want to edit right now. Okay, so yeah, keep that clicked or checked, and it should load up. So now since it's load up, um, expand the Fallout 4 ESM. Now you want to look for a non-playable character. Uh, oh, and I passed it. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, now what you want to do is look for the companion that you want to edit. Um, they have, um, yeah, so yeah, just look for the companion that you want to edit. And this is more for um, people who want to edit companions. Uh, I haven't edited my character and, and put them over to another save. Uh, so right now what I'm showing you is how to edit companions. So um, yeah, you may have to find out how to do a character because I never transferred a character's face onto another save or anything like that. But this, you can use this method, but it's a little bit different for uh, people trying to, because I don't know where the character is in here. Maybe that's him right there <laughs> where it says player or your character. I don't know. But anyways, you want to find the companion that you want to edit. Uh, so here's Piper, for example. I'm going to use her, for example. Uh, if you uh, want to edit other companions and say you fight Piper first, because I think she's the first companion that pops up on the list, um, just click on editor ID and then it will put you next to the other companions in the game. So after you find a companion that you want to use, just right click on the companion's name uh, and then go to copy as override into. And it's going to give you time to think, you know, just in case if you don't want to do this, but of course we do. So click yes, uh, click new file. And I'm going to type Piper 3. You can name it whatever you want. So. Uh, you can name it whatever you want to name your mod. I'm just going to name it Piper 3. And then, of course, you're going to click yes. 
and then after you do that you can either exit off uh, Fallout 4 edit or you can push Control S and what it's going to do is it's going to take you to this menu and then all you do is press OK now what it did is now it's saving your uh, your ESP file that you just made so now after you did that uh, now you need to open up your Fallout 4 Face Ripper okay so in this menu right here what you want to do is you want to go to browse and you want to find the save file that has your edited companion click on that file so for me for example it's my latest file uh, save file I have like 200 save files because I'm that type of person um, I have I think I have over 200 save files but anyways so you want to find the companion that you want to edit right here it says Piper this is the person I want to edit um, and uh, and what's so cool about it is that you can even take your wife. Say if you want to make Piper look like your wife, what you can do is that you can click on your wife and then you can go here and find Piper's file and you can press transfer. But right now I'm gonna show you how to do Piper. So choose Piper. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your data folder because that's where your ESP file is at. So just copy and paste the address into the address bar. Okay, now you want to go and find your file that you made. Uh, here's Piper 3 right here. Okay, I'm just wondering why that's over these. Oh, because it's spaced. Okay. Yeah, so Piper 3. Uh, now, since I got Piper 3, what you want to do is press transfer. And what that's going to do, I'm not going to actually do it, uh, but what's it, what that's going to do is it's going to transfer Piper's face or your companion's face from that save file, that edited companion's face from that save file to the file that you had just made, you know, the vanilla file, because that's what we ripped from the Fallout 4 edit ESM file, was the vanilla uh, face of Courier, the vanilla model. So now you press transfer and it transfers the face over. Uh, pretty much what you do now you want to test and make sure that it's doing it correctly because if not you're going to have to go to the next video if the face does not transfer properly because sometimes it may look like your character it may look very similar to your character you have to pay attention to this uh, it may look like your character but you may notice subtle differences so that means that you probably most likely edited your companion through the looks menu so if it does not transfer right what you want to do is go to my other video that I'm going to have up uh, for people who edit it through the looks menu uh, and you can reference your character you know you can take screenshots or you can even you know load up the save with uh, with the mod loaded uh, for the vanilla character so say what you want to do is go you want to pull up a save where Piper is not edited you know vanilla Piper and if the changes roll over perfectly then you're good but if they don't and you want to reference you know if if she wrote over good or not go to a save where she's edited because if you look if you edited her through looks menu it's not going to affect the edited save so go and you can reference that way and like I said if if everything didn't copy over correctly and she looks different way different or just a little bit different you can go to my other video which is going to show you the other method for people who edit it through looks menu um, so yeah that's pretty much it oh well I forgot a big step before doing that it's not gonna load so yeah it's not gonna load what you need to do uh, before you even try to load your game is that you want to take the name of your companion uh, of the ESP file that you have made whatever you named it like mine it's like I said mine is the Piper 3 file so what you want to do is you know you want to copy it all you put control a if you want that's the easy way of doing it uh, and then you want to go to your um, your fallout 4 uh, folder which for example it's in my uh, my uh, username so whatever your username is just go to your your user profile go to app data go to local and then go to fallout 4 um, and you should find a text file called plugins uh, once when you get there you want to right click on plugins and go and unclick uh, read only after doing that you want to open it and then you want to scroll to the bottom and you want to copy and paste the name of your companion in there 
once we do that save I'm not gonna save it obviously um, but after that you want to save and uh, then it should load up and then you can you know reference your character to see if it loaded correctly and stuff like that then after that uh, if you want to load to the uh, Nexus mod uh, website you can go ahead and do that uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do that <laughs> because it can be a little lengthy process uh, but yeah that's pretty much it and um, yeah uh, you can check out my other video if it didn't work out right for you uh, try to follow the steps uh, you know to make sure that you follow the steps correctly uh, like I said if it didn't load if your characters look weird it's a good chance that you edited your character through the looks menu so um, you can check out my other video that I'm going to do so hey take it easy guys